Number four, give an example of each of the following types of solutions. And then we have this specific example here, which is a solid in a solid. Well, here's a chart of all the different types of solutions. We just have to find the specific example. The hardest part here is to figure out what is the solute and what's the solvent. However, in this case, we're replacing a solid into another solid. They're the same state. So the smaller solid would be the solute, because the solute is always the smallest piece. And whenever you're throwing it into the larger one, which in this case, it's a solid, right? Because a solid is going into a solid. That's the solvent. And when those two solids now are interacting with each other, that's the resulting solution. So in here, we have to find a solute that's a solid and a solvent that's also a solid. Well, here is a solid solute, but this corresponds with a liquid solvent. The answer would be when zinc solid comes together with copper solid and together you make brass. And this is a specific type of solution called an alloy, but the specific example is brass. When zinc solid is in a bunch of copper solid. And for brass, the, the percentage of zinc is lower than the copper. Always the solvent is larger than the solute. And that's it. That's the specific example. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.